Hello everyone, I'm Chef Jadard Wells, host of New Soul Kitchen on Clio TV. You know, I'm always trying to keep something new and in innovative ways on showing you how to cook something unique. And the reason I'm here today is for my amazing friends, Common Threads. Yes, Common Threads, I don't know if you've heard of them, but if you hadn't, you need to look them up. They do amazing things all around the world, really just trying to pay it forward. And I'm here on behalf of World Food Day. Yep, World Food Day. It's all about the food, and it's all about showing you unique ways where you can create a unique dish. You know, with this pandemic going on for over half of a year, you know, hard times have fell on some people. A lot of things that we used to buy and how we used to shop, we had to look at innovative ways. You know, some even having to go to food banks to get meals. And really, I commend and thank the government for really stepping up, federal and local government, stepping up with the food banks and making sure there's enough food to go around for those that are in need. But one of the things I always hear people complain about is when I get this food box, man, I don't know what to cook with this. How do I put this protein with this? Because it's normally how you probably wouldn't eat. But I'm here to show you how. And look, if you like what I'm about to show you, what you could do with some, some ingredients that come straight up a food bank, please donate $25 to Common Threads because that $25 is enough to cover enough food for participant in the virtual cooking classes that will feed a family of four. So let me show you, this is all you need. Let's get cooking. All right guys, so we're gonna make this spicy ranch cheesy chicken. First, what you'll need is two cups of sour cream. You're gonna need some carrots here, baby carrots, of course. Chicken thighs, I have roughly about six to seven chicken thighs. Mozzarella cheese. Some long grain rice. Some shredded cheddar cheese. Celery. A little olive oil we're gonna put in the bottom of that skillet because this is gonna be a one skillet wonder, guys. Chef Jannar's all-purpose seasoning. You can get it at hawkcuisine.store. If you don't have access to it, just any of your low-sodium all-purpose seasons will work great. And then here, we just got some spicy ranch seasoning. If you don't like spiciness, you can get some regular ranch seasoning. Very good, and the kids will love it. All right, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, so first what you want to do is drizzle roughly about three to four tablespoons of olive oil or vegetable oil on the bottom of your skillet. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees, guys. Now, we're going to take that rice, and it's going to go right in the bottom of your skillet. Yes, just like that. Make sure it's an oven-proof skillet. And what I have here, this right here, guys, is two cups of rice and four cups of water. You always want to like that. Uh, two cups of rice to four cups of water. You'll be amazed how it's going to absorb all of that. Now that we have that going, now we're going to dice those vegetables up because we're going to blend that in. The kids are going to get vegetables, starch, and that protein, and some dairy all in one. All right, guys, so these baby carrots, you just want to give them a nice good slice, you know, a little something. Carrots are good for you. You know, they always say carrots are good for the eyes as well. You know, this dish doesn't take a lot of time. You're coming in late from work or you've been just working from home, but just drain from the day. This is a cool dish you can whip up for the family in a fraction of the time. So we're going to dice them up. We're going to add this into our rice and then we're going to dice the celery. Up. All right, guys, so what we'll do is cut those ends off the celery. Actually, you know, when you see these little baby celery, look, little stalks and shrubbery. I like that. So I always say keep that in. We'll just go with some nice fine dice. Then of course, when that rice is cooking, man, this celery smells so good, guys. It smells good and fresh. So we're just going with some nice cool, of course, dice on it here. That's what you want right here. This is what you want. And that's going right in there also, guys. Right in there also. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little of that all-purpose seasoning because I believe in my rice having a little flavor to it. So you can add your roughly about a teaspoon of it. And we're just going to mix it up good. Make sure the rice is just evenly through the water. Make sure and make sure the vegetables are distributed good in there, guys. 
This is how you want it. All right, now let's get on to that chicken. All right, now it's all about that sour cream. You're gonna be amazed. You're thinking chicken and sour cream? Look, when that heat from the oven hits this, man, oh man, it makes an amazing crust on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add three tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning, that ranch, right in there, right in there. Yes, yes, yes. And then you just blend it up in that sour cream and just give it. It is a great flavor. You know, and you can you can play with this dish however you desire. Say you don't have regular long grain. You can use brown rice. You can you can you can change the vegetables up. You know, if you want to change the vegetables up, you can do that. But the key is is the sour cream with this seasoning. You want to get that blended up real good, guys. Get that seasoning through it all the way through. Now that we got that, now those chicken thighs. Look at this right here. Beautiful chicken thighs. If you want, you know, you can just trim some of that excess fat off of it. Then what we do is we take these chicken thighs, guys, boom. And you just coat those chicken thighs all over. Then once you coat them like this, goes right on top of that rice, that celery and carrots in there. And the cool thing, you know, like some people say, hey, I, I like boiling my rice and chicken stock more flavor. Guess what? With this chicken right here, as it's cooking down, all those juices are gonna go into that rice, so it's gonna form its own chicken stock. Right here, right here. So you wanna just keep on just Lining these bad boys up. All right, guys, look how beautiful that looks. Nice and creamy. We're going to lay that mozzarella right over the top of it. Right over the top of it, guys. Right there. If you notice, I'm leaving one empty in the corner. I have a son that doesn't do cheese, which is fine. We're still cooking for him, too. Then we're going to take that cheddar, guys. Cheddar right over the top of it. Right over the top of it. That oven should be nice and warm. What we're gonna do first, guys, cause we're gonna cook this for one hour at 400 degrees. But what we're gonna do first, we're gonna put a lid on it. We wanna allow that rice to get nice and steam. Pop a lid right over the top of it. Go in the oven for 30 minutes. Then we're gonna remove the lid and let it finish cooking the remaining 30 minutes. So remember, 400 degrees, one hour, 30 minutes lid on, 30 minutes lid off. All right, let's see how this thing turn out. Check it out, check it out. Yes, dinner is served. Dinner is served, guys. Hitting it with a little cracked black pepper just over the top of it. Man, this is smelling good, and you got it all in one skillet, guys. Check this out. You got your rice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh-wee. You got your rice. You got your cheese. One scoop, we got it all right there. Let me get that. You want that clean plate? Scooping and look at that. Rice not even stuck to the bottom of the skillet. Look at that, getting a little rice here. Man, this rice smelling so good. Got all your vegetables in it. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this right here. Dinner is served, guys. Dinner is served. The family will be eating good with this right here. All right, all right, let's get in here. Look at this. Oh man, look at all this cheese. And see, one of the things I really like cooking with chicken thighs, they're so flavorful. Man, look at this here. Mmm. The right amount of cheesiness, creaminess. That thigh is so moist and tender. The rice, nice and fluffy. Mmm. You gotta try this right here. But if, if you want to make donations, man, you just want to sow a seed, make sure you go to www.commonthreads.org. That's where you go. Go and check them out, man. There's some amazing stuff going on. I'm Chef Jannard. I'm out.